Oi there, mateys! As I'm speaking in my own pirate voice this time, this is a very different intro. And guess what? At the time of making this video, when I was filling up water and stuff like that, guess what? I found something really inquisitive. It's literally a very cute looking slug. And yes, I don't mind slugs because slugs are actually very, very interesting creatures. And unlike worms, they're actually not as common as worms, in my opinion, because I don't tend to see slugs right across in my area. And I sort of think slugs are actually quite much more interesting, I suppose. Maybe this could be the next spider meal, wouldn't it? Yeah, I tried putting on ladybirds, of course. But yes, this is a slug. And yes, slugs don't have to be on land, don't they? They can also be at the sea. Arrgh. I mean, just look at that slug, man. It looks like it's just crawling. I mean, slugs aren't that grotesque, man, eh? I mean, look at the eyes. It looks sort of compound by the looks of it, eh? Just trying to basically handle it here. And um, when it's threatened, it actually closes it sort of like that, I suppose. I mean, look at it. It actually looks so cute. Yeah, oh, look at that. Wonder if I can keep it as a pet. Maybe. Well, one thing I might do to the slug is I might not sure if I could literally keep it here because uh, this slug here would sort of be happy, be part of nature here. And I don't know why. I, I'm actually um, sort of curious about slugs. And uh, I actually don't mind for the fact they're actually quite slimy. Maybe ladybirds would actually attack slugs. Perhaps. Okay, let's get rid of all the bugginess that we have in this video, and the first product we're going to take a look at here is this product here. There's not much bird products we're going to take a look at in this video. It's a £7.99 British Wildlife Collection toy. It's a flapping birds toy as well. It's a pre-breeding season wintering herring girls five pack. So yes, they're basically seagulls, of course. And the back there, this is what they talk about, and it's sort of weird because this, this product here for some strange reason is possibly a bit grotesque because what I'm actually seeing is is that the girls haven't got the brown streaks on the head during winter and same goes with this female one here but luckily enough we've got the instructions there which is via the anatomy there of course as I'm trying to say in this video here there's also a gold looking fish which is actually not a gold fish but it's a yellow herring perhaps and that one there is just a red stock standard Patrick Star well, yes, I'm just going to come in and do the unpacking here because I don't know how mundane this sort of product is going to be like. And I think we're actually going to go back into the water bomb base type bird. Not the bird based birds that we all know and love. And um, we sort of want to take a look at them, eh? Here we go. Sort of looks nice, doesn't it? And um, these fishies there, they look quite big. I love the way they're sort of being designed, I suppose. I mean, look at that. This is actually the sort of best design I can actually get, eh? And uh, what I actually can do is that you can actually attach the fish via the seagull's beak. I mean, just look how very nice this is. And, um, yeah, sort of flaps well. The disappointing fact is, is that in the packaging there, there's a female herring girl, but I can't find one. Maybe this one could be female, but where are the eyelashes? There's no way that, there's, that you know these two birds, they just don't have eyelashes, so... I'm going to probably edit these after making this video here. And uh, here's the um, all mundane Patrick Star that we all know and love. And about the face, <laughs> I bet, um, I dare say uh, he's looking for the shell as Gary, perhaps. Maybe SpongeBob was a bit too busy looking at Gary. And I've actually handled a slug, which wasn't really a snail. And yes, i got to tell you guys, that ain't no SpongeBob SquarePants. And yes, every time when I talk about Spongebob Squarepants in a very, well, humongous and very honest way, I would like to say, I would literally want to ask, how did this sponge ever become so famous? Let's put these away, and we'll sort of want to take a look at our next product, which is going to be very simplistic. It's this one here, £7.99 for this toy here. And my camera has just actually stopped. <laughs> We actually had a bit of a bug on the camera here, but sorry about that, there was a bit of a jump cut earlier. Uh, this is a Hooded Earless Seal Toy Figures 5 Pack. Yep, it's called the Hooded Earless Seal Toy Figures 5 Pack, as I'm saying in this video here. It's a Generation 86 toy, it cost me about £7.99, and this is the only one from Generation 86 that we're going to take a look at in this video. Looking at the back of the packaging there, 
is sort of some very interesting amazement. We've got the St. Patrick star here, we've got the seal there, and we've got two of these fishies there. And look what it says there. A realistic but simplistic cartoonic arctic coastline sort of ones, doesn't it? And we'll take a look at what this product has to say. And uh, there's the seals. They sort of look quite... <laughs> I don't know how sloppy these seals are. And uh, we get the Patrick Star again. And then we're going to get basically that. Okay, so we've got two of these fishies there. Look like herrings or anchovies, perhaps. Maybe a bit of sardine. Oh, God, this video is making me hungry because of the fish here. It's making me think of seafood. Uh, Patrick Star is not really edible, of course, because starfish aren't really used for just food. For some reason, they're not really a food thing seafood thing. Anyways, we've got the seals there, and I'll try and get this one on focus. Okay, I'm getting this one to focus here. As you can see, there's an eye there. Looking around the plumage here as well, uh, sort of a very nice brown coating there. And the nice fact about these seals there is that, I think compared to the other seal videos, there was actually something at the back there, which is some sort of um, double fin action here. It reminds me of the sea lions. Uh, but they're not really used as legs, these are uh, back fins over here, like they would literally see in the sea lines. This one does look like a sea lion. Possibly it's because of these back fins remind me of that of a sea lion. Uh, if it is a seal, it's going to be more like that. But if it is a sea lion, it would be more like that, okay? So you get that message, hey? What do you think? But I mean, you know, these seals there, they don't actually have ears compared to sea lions or any other eared seal that we have, I suppose, in the world, of course. And um, that's what maybe convergent evolution is going to be all about, perhaps. Like, you know, the, the fact that puffins have evolved into penguins, of course, perhaps. Yep, I would literally just say that penguins have evolved, in, you know, basically from puffins, of course making them a lot more flightless, of course, than the opposite, of course. I would say orcs, okay? And um, we'll take a look at this product here, which is basically this. I initially thought I was going to do a grotesque-looking jump cut here. And yes, there is what that looks like to be a Kauaian Japanese Rabbit Island Resident Set 12-pack. It's an Easter 2019 item, but there's something a bit weird about this product here. There's nothing about Easter right at the back of this packaging there. <laughs> Look at that. Looks like a bunny. It looks like a bunny fried version of Pikachu, man. God, I, I can tell what that It looks like that. It's maybe the fact that the artist has been absolutely cretinous. Yeah, that's a new word. Cretinous, okay. I mean, look at that. There's some more generic goddamn Pikachu bunny things. There's a humpback whale here. And uh, there's a furry, which is not really big compared to this goddamn grotesque looking cretinous drawn Pikachu with riding on the same pen boat with a goddamn Japanese flag that's nowhere to be seen or nowhere to be literally encountered in this packaging here nor what's inside and but you don't know when I basically go ahead and straight away unpack it well, yes, I do love the detail of this product here. Easter 2019 is sort of a different logo here. I love the bunnies here, and I think, compared to the other video, I think this is going to be much better, because, hopefully, uh, this video will actually have loads and loads of attention to detail via those Easter bunnies. So let's come in and do the unpacking and have a bit of fun. Uh, I do love the fact that we've got a bit of Easter Island stuff here. It reminds me of the Easter Island products that I actually reviewed. And uh, one of the most funniest parts that I actually reviewed in this product was all about Big Chungus. That was the sort of thing I actually loved about this video. Okay, so that's what we all have. There's a little same hand boat for your bunnies. And, uh, the, oh, oh, oh my goodness me, that looks like some sort of weird... Um... <laughs> That boat nearly attacked us, eh? It looks like some sort of generic furry, but it looks like... To me, it actually looks like the furry that you actually see in Japan. Uh, it takes you all the way from somewhere in Kyushu, actually more like in... Let's just say Honshu, I suppose. Let's say away from Hiroshima to Rabbit Island, perhaps. It's sort of cute, isn't it? And it's got blue eyes. That's a very typical fact about kawaii stuff. Which is actually something that refers into cuteness in anime, of course. It's got beautiful bright colours there. 
there's the grass, there's the redness, and then you've got the sky in the middle, or the river in the middle, of course. Okay, it looks like this bunny here, in fact, these um, bunnies there, they've got a bit of sort of nice blue detail here, which remind me of, it looks like the Pokemon Azumarill, which is sort of weird. I'll show you what Azumarill looks like. And uh, it's a bit like a bunny Pokemon, but it's like a water fairy type. And I'll show you to you right now, but let's do it. At least at the time of making this video here, where's the slug gone? It's sort of unusual, I didn't know where the slug has actually went. Very unusual if you ask me, perhaps. Well, yes, I'm just going to grab this book here, and I'm actually sort of glad I want to come in and show you all about Pokemon. I have actually haven't used this book for quite a long time now, maybe I have. Uh, before I started to make Pokemon themed videos on YouTube, maybe I have. And uh, I'm actually going to look for, there it is there, the Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. That's what I'm looking for. The Zumuru. I think this is actually sort of a very cute looking Pokemon, wouldn't it? be nice if we can try and basically look nicer than what we actually thought of. Okay, so that's what we have. And uh, the very interesting part about these bunnies is that they look sort of cute. There's one of the small white coloured bunnies here. They're made with non-recyclable paper here. Uh, these four bunnies there, on the background there, the big ones there, they're made with recycled paper. And uh, it's sort of weird that this one doesn't actually want to stand nicely compared to the other bunny rabbits that I've actually reviewed. Um, maybe I could edit like that. That's sort of alright. Okay. And then we've got these small little cretinous looking drawn uh, Pikachu themed bunny rabbits. I don't know why they're actually in the stylization of Pikachu. Maybe it's something to kill off the Pokemon franchise and literally make it dead. But we've got this very beautiful Detective Pikachu movie that's coming out from this year's uh, May. And then we've got uh, this bunny rabbit here. It's sort of amazing. We've got a huge collection of bunny rabbits now. And I think for this year, we may think that Easter 2019 could possibly be the biggest selling Easter years that we could ever have. And also, not just bunny rabbits. <sighs> oh, look at that! You initially thought it was a shark, wasn't it? But it was actually a whale. So, I would literally just say that whales have been absolutely amazing critters. And let's just hope that whales should be absolutely perpetuant. I'm not sure I'm just saying it. I think it's a bit perpetual. Let's just say that these uh, critters should be perpetual because these creatures are actually majestic. And um, let them live forever because I know that whales are part of the Earth Kingdom, I suppose. We'll just have a look at the whale here. You can actually see the little eye there, of course. You can see the little grey eye here. And I'm um, not being that cretinous by the way it looks like, but it's so, so cute. I don't know why I'm saying the word cretinous. Maybe it's the fact that the word cretinous is this sort of one of the newest words. One of the newest words I had was grotesque, and then I had perpetual, and finally we've got cretinous. Actually, I said cretinous at the first place, didn't I? <laughs> And the word cretinous means foolish and stupid. That's what it actually means, or clumsy, or cumbersome. And anyways, that's what we've all got here. And what's very, very perplexing is, is that this humpback wire here is actually uh, shorterly designed than those bunny rabbits here, which sort of perplexes me because, well, bunny rabbits are literally just smaller than humpback whales, in a sense, the way it is. Maybe this whale, this humbug whale, could be a juvenile sort of bunny -y, uh, comparison thingy bob, whatever I call it. And I'm trying not to try and make this video very misunderstandable because what we all want to have is some good definitions here. And the thing I love to revert into this video here, now what I'm actually referring to is that I want to make this video highly definitive, as I'm saying here. Well, don't get that really, really, um, what would you say? Uh, don't get oh so ranty in the way I actually make flip up toys. I actually struggle sometimes, but yet the biggest way I would like to say is uh, the moral for this video here is try and do your best. And um, it's try, uh, try and do your best because what I do want to hear about. Um, if you don't put up too much effort, you will start to probably um, come into a grinding halt. Um, yes, that's the most interesting way, and I think the word I can actually know is, is persevere. So it's all about the time that you should never, never give up. 
Okay, so, and yes, I've got bowling tomorrow, and I think that's actually coming out for... I'm actually going to ACOX Green tomorrow afternoon for a school trip to bowling, and I think I'm actually going to do this for six weeks. Until, let's just say, the Easter holidays, as you can see there. And I feel like I sort of want to design Easter products for the rest of March, and possibly the first half of April, because I just feel like that the Easter holidays are sort of more eye-catching, but I'm trying to do this as the way I am. I'm not feeling like I'm being a bit perpetually, um, what would you say, uh, cretinous. <laughs> I love saying the word cretinous because it's a very relevant new word. I just feel like cretinous is one of the best words I've ever used in this video. Thumbs up indeed. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you have actually learned everything in this video. And I hope that if you guys like the slug or hate the slug, please give a like, subscribe for more videos on YouTube, and as always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Yeah!